Hello, everybody. I am Jimil. Images. Yep. All the images also represented by a number and which we can say RGB because they are all red, green, and blue. So all this red and green and blue is represented by a number. Those numbers is the amount of red and amount of green and amount of blue. Let's say 72, a little bit from red, a little bit from green, 73, and a 33 from blue. When you combine them, and uh, you will receive this color. That's it. That's it. So when you want to, be, like, let's say you are the painter, Bob Ross, right? Rest in peace. So uh, you take a little bit blue from here and a little bit from green from, a little bit from, a little bit red from the here, and then just make your image. And there you go. This is the color you will receive. And Bob Ross knew it without a number. Uh, well, the computers needs a number. Well, how many numbers can we generate? What is the maximum number when we can use for red? Of course, the answer is when you turn all the light bulbs on, this is the answer, 255. The maximum red color you can take is one 255. And you can also take zero. So if you don't take red, zero. If you don't take green, zero. If you don't, don't take blue, zero. What color would you get? Zero, zero, zero. Don't get any color. They'll give you no color. What is that? Black. If, if it was zero, 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 it would be black. So uh, for this, maybe for the coloring thing, if you want to play a little bit, so let's say RGB uh, color picker. Let's go to one of the website, RGB color picker. All right, so YouTube, you're so, so Google, right? Google is just bringing me up. But I think I'm looking for, is this? <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so RGB, the maximum number is 255. If you put all colors in maximum amount, 255, 255, 255, the color you will receive is white. If you don't get any color, zero, 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 the color is, of course, black. So the maximum number, again, 255, the minimum number is zero. And did you know that? YouTube's logo, exactly full red. It's not a mix of green, not even one, not even five. So it's still red, right? It's still red. Now it's, it's turned to the orange if you put in some green, but even, even if you put this 40, but the, did you know YouTube's logo is full red, not mix of any other color, just red. Yeah. Interesting facts. Okay. All right. So we still have time this time. I'm I know it's 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 just now after the binaries, because binaries all on the practice, it's just informational. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, just good to know the colors. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, again, the color RGB calculator. So putting an amount of some colors and it will give, it will give you uh, this. Okay, is 250 mean 55 means one, one, one. Yes, it is. Look at this one, 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 one is 255. That's Dennis' question. Okay. All right, let's get back to the image. Remember the times. Actually, I know it's too much. Maybe we can stop. And uh, really, we don't, we don't, uh, yeah, we, we can. We, one more slide and then we will be, I will be done here, I think. Uh, it might be too much for the rest of it. Uh, uh, so we can use the rest of the slides for the next lessons beginning. So before we end up this class, maybe we can make a short Kahoot real quick. And so, this is again the pixels, right? But but I think for the Kahoot is too early because maybe we should cover up the others as well. So that's why, sorry, uh, not Kahoot today, but here it is, the pixels. I think you heard of the pixels, maybe at the very beginning of the digital cameras or when you got your first mobile phone with a camera on. The first thing we maybe we would look at is how many 
or how many megapixel is your camera, right? The pixels, because uh, more the pixels are and the image quality is increases. So look at the image quality. What do you think what it is? Can you get what it is? Super Mario. Super Mario, yeah. But it's not too super clear. Why? Because it's just pixelate. And then because the pixels are too big. And if you calculate how many pixels we have here, and then just multiply with this uh, vertical one, then you will get how many pixels exactly uh, in this here. So if we had more pixels, then this image quality will be way better, okay? So uh, when we are saving, when our computer saves an image to our computer, to our hard disk, what it does was first, for every each pixel on your image, the computer uses these decimal numbers, but converts it to a binary number to receive that color. For, so for every pixel, the computer generates a binary code, 1001110, for example, and then just save it for that pixel. So when we look at here, actually this red is a binary code. This one has another binary code, the black 0000000. So, uh, yeah, uh, right. So that's how, how computer stores the images. That's it. This is how image representation in our computers in pixels. So every pixels uh, in color. So that's why first we need a pixel information. We need a color information for that pixel. And finally, the computer shows us this image. Well, right now, the slideshow you are seeing is in pixels. Right now, you see me, I'm in a pixels, but because there are a lot of pixels on our computers now, you don't see me pixelate. Uh, I have a question. Right. Um, for example, you send me a picture, but I have bad quality phone and uh, it's not enough uh, pixels for showing this as you send me. Uh, I have my different code uh, of this picture or um, uh, I have the same, uh, what, uh, how it will uh, write in a code. I mean, 01001, for example, this mm, one. I get your point. I send you high resolution photo, but your phone or your computer doesn't have that screen to show that high resolution. Let's say yeah. your your phone just uh, um, showing up that big, that much pixels, right? Let's say this one. Yeah. You will see that. Your computer or your mobile phone will convert my image to this by using your mobile phone. But my mobile phone, when it because, because the data is there, but only the problem is the pixelation. It depends on your hardware thing. Now the hardware comes to play. Which hardware? The monitor, the screen, actually. So your screen, um, so the screen, your screen actually will do this coloring for every pixels. Uh, but my screen, my hardware will help me to, the data is there, right? The data is stored there in the pixels. But when it, show, when it comes to the show, it's just uh, the hardware. If your hardware can show that much pixels, then it will just color up every pixels for, depends on your screen, but if it's not a, if if it is a low resolution screen, your screen will just make it a little bit bigger, like you see in here. So it's about like the file itself and also the hardware itself. So the okay, file well, itself is not enough to uh, show you a clear images actually. Okay, what about the code? I will have the same because I have two screens now. And uh, in one screen, I see the one colors of your picture and another uh, screen shows me another color of pictures. And um, does it mean that uh, I have two different codes of these uh, colors? Okay. Just correct me if I did understand wrong. So you have same image. Mm -hmm in two different screens, 
and each screen shows different coloring. Is that correct? Excuse me, you asked something, I cannot hear you. No, uh, I tried to just repeat what I understand from your question. Is that correct? May you repeat me, please? Because I couldn't hear you. Wait, sorry, again? Uh, uh, may you repeat me, please? Because I couldn't hear you. Your question. Well, I, I didn't ask a question. I just repeated your question. Yeah. So you have two image, but right. the same image, sorry. You have one image and then you have two different devices. Is that correct? Right, correct. And then these two different devices showing the color different. Is that correct? Yeah. Now I have a question. Let's turn back to your first question. The image that you see low resolution on your device, but, but the image is quality. And in my computer, does they or does that image receive or in the same amount of data on our both computers? The data, think about the how big the file is, let's say five megabytes of image. Is that store if it like does it change on your device? The image is the same image, five megabyte image. My computer also save it in a five megabyte space, and your device is also save it in a five megabyte place. So the image is quality. So image has the quality. So, uh, but because of the screen, your hardware translate that high quality image depends on your screen resolution. So it doesn't affect the original image, but it just shows the difference in the display. And well, in your second question, if two monitors shows different, for example, when you open an image on the Mac, and then when you open an image on a Windows, they usually show different colors. Or if you are using two monitors, one screen shows different color and another screen shows another color. That's all about the display, not the image itself. It's the same image. Thank you, I got it. How do we understand? Because of if you just right click and see how many megabytes is this both images are the same image is the same quality same but only the display because of the hardware is converted it's not just the image itself yes the image is saved in the high quality with that high quality colors with high quality pixelation but when it comes to display you don't have that quality of display to show up so what to do the computer hardware is just translate or reduce the color quality for you not the image quality, just the display quality. The image is the same image. I'm not sure if it is clear. So obviously the computer hardware manipulates right. the information and adjusts uh, the requirements of your computer. Yeah, yeah. Because it's something that you can also say that sometimes whatever you say is not being understood the same as the third party, right? It's the same thing. The file that I'm sending you is not give you the guarantee to show that quality on your computer. Let's say YouTube. YouTube has too many quality of videos, but not every computer open that 4K videos, let's say, because of the resolution and the hardware acceleration, because we don't have that enough hardware to run that high quality 4K images. But the image is 4K. The people are uploading 4K videos on YouTube, but what we can see is maybe 2K, maybe 1K, who knows? That's all about pixel, pixels and data, right? Um, but the storage of the video is gonna be the same, right? Yeah, it's the storage, exactly the same. The same video, same amount of storage it will uh, being saved, like five megabytes video or the five megabyte image is the same with the both devices. It doesn't change the size. It's the same image, only the display, right? And here you can see the 4K. When we mean 4K, 4K is 300, 800, 3,840 pixels by two. So this is in the horizontal and the, the vertical one is 2,000, uh, 160 pixels in the vertical 
Then when you just multiply them, then you can see that in total, 8,294,400 pixels, which we say 4K. Okay, it's not a one four, it's eight. Why if you call it 4K? So it's because of that we have almost 4,000 uh, pixels here by 2,000. So we call it actually the 4K. Uh, so like, like I said, so these are representing for the every pixels and see how quality is just reduced for let's say standard definition video quality. So I think we can go 700p and then yeah for this and then this is 1080p for that. So uh, you can see that he, the image is same. Let's say we have the same image, but your computer is just showing up like like maybe the, the bigger pixels. And because every pixel can be represented by only one color, so the quality reduced because we, we don't have that much boxes, let's say pixels, and then we can't use that much color. So that's why the quality just dropped. Is there an upper limit of the pixels? Do we have an upper limit? Of course, no. I mean, currently, I think we have 4K, but I think there's 5K now. It's just increasing. So it depends of the technology, how many pixels they can fit into, let's say, a screen, a very, very small screens. That's about the technology. And when the technology just grows, then uh, that pixelation is also will be grow. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the, each pixel also um, occupies some space, like um, this storage-wise, right? That's correct. Yeah, every every pixel. Remember, every pixel stores a color. And let's check out the coloring once again. So look look at this. Every color has a binary it's decimal numbers, but they convert it to a binary: two hundred fifty-five, two hundred fifty-five, two hundred fifty-five. So actually, here. Uh, we can call this one byte in total for eight bit. We call every item bit. And then if we have eight bits, then it is one byte. So which means one byte for red, one byte for green, one byte for blue is storing actually. And then when it comes three bytes in total, and then with this three bytes is just going to represent by one pixel. So when we have too many pixels, so let's say three byte, three, 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 then uh, in total, there will be that much storage will be needed to store the yeah. data. So the storage for the uh, screen resolution, I would say, is kind of independent from the storage of the image itself? Yes. So two things is involved. One, the image quality itself, the image itself. Two is the display quality. Display quality doesn't affect the image size. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. And yeah, it doesn't affect any image size. Remember that you are visiting a website. The image is loading very slowly for your computer, but your friend's computer is just lightning fast. What's the reason? Uh, because of the processor, because of the hard drive, hard disk, uh, uh, hardware of that computer or friend's computer is faster than yours. So that processes that image quickly and it just open lightning fast. But in your computer, it's just loading slowly 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 have you have you ever yeah have you ever come to that point maybe when you got your first mobile phone with a camera remember how many pixel was it when you got your first digital camera how many pixel was it do you remember so that's all about the pixelation and it's now increasing a lot yeah so, so yeah quick question so is it always RGB, what if you want to form, um, is it, how does the computer use yellow? Yeah, again, uh, let's say, let's look at the RGBs. Uh, how can we get yellow? Yeah, let's let's move into the yellow. So when we want to make so, it yellow, yeah. So, yeah, so pretty much I'm just trying to understand that pretty much the computer only use, needs to use RGB to form any colors in it. Is that is that correct? Mm -hmm, correct. But oh, but the thing is, amazing. you know, the computer doesn't store two hundred fifty five. The computer stores one 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 for this red, one mm -hmm. one 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 eight ones for the green, and and then zero for the blue. Because when you mix red and green, then it's yellow. 
Yeah, I was just trying to understand that it, yeah. it pretty much can form all the color that it needs using the RGB. It doesn't yeah. need to. It doesn't need to like have like, uh, you know, a different color RGB something else. So it's always RGB. It's always RGB. We have different forms that like hexadecimal, like unique. Uh, Unicodes, uh, but this is the hexadecimals. But this is just a representation format. But the storing format is always binary, and mm -hmm. which is mix of red, green, and blue. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'll see you again next class.